President Trump continues on his Asian diplomatic tour today in Beijing, urging China to constrain North Korea. China can fix this problem easily and quickly. And I am calling on China and your great president to hopefully work on it very hard. I know one thing about your president. If he works on it hard, it will happen. There's no doubt about it. They know. And President Trump shifted the blame for our trade deficit with China. Trade between China and the United States has not been, over the last many, many years, a very fair one for us. I don't blame China. Who can blame a country for being able to take advantage of another country for the benefit of its citizens? I give China great credit. But in actuality, I do blame past administrations. Past administrations, past presidents for uh, the largest trade deficit among all of our trading partners. Joining us tonight, former deputy assistant, strategist to President Trump, author of the New York Times bestseller, Defeating Jihad, now Fox News national security strategist and contributor, Dr. Sebastian Gorka. Great to have you with us. Let's uh, start with that wonderful moment where the president acknowledges that he doesn't blame China, uh, but rather the... Uh, if you will, the fools who made it so, that is, who can who accepted 40 plus years of trade deficits, uh, specifically with China, who permitted those deficits to rise to record and the largest levels amongst any of our trading partners. Absolutely, Lou. Uh, great to be back. Uh, the president has this kind of supernatural instinctual capacity to read the audience and to couch things in terms that they understand. When I was with him in Youngstown, Ohio, in the Steel Valley, he spoke in one way that was resonant with that audience. When he's in front of Congress, it's very different. And today, he spoke in terms that an, a Chinese audience would understand. He spoke in, in the, the words of Sun Tzu, like an age, Asian strategist. He said, look, I don't blame you for playing us for fools to your own benefit because, of course, you do that for your own national interests. But he laid, it's clear where the strategic blame is to be laid upon naive policies of past presidential administrations and also, Lou, the private sector. When we have massive businesses, Google included and many others, that simply look at market share, look at China as a market right. and don't think about the ramifications, that's why we are where we are today. Day. Well, let's let, let's turn to the, the fact that there is it may be somewhat uh, uh, exaggerated because of the circumstance of the trade mission that accompanies uh, this president in China, but the two countries announcing a quarter of a trillion dollars in trade deals. Uh, that is even uh, if it's enlarged a little uh, because of the uh, the political dimensions of the president's uh, critical trip. Uh, it, it's it's a massively impressive uh, day in trade. Absolutely. I, 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 told, I told people who'd voted for Trump uh, last year, people who support us, you, even if you really for him, you have no idea how successful he's going to be diplomatically, not just in terms of business. And he's proving it. it Lou, it's hard to choose right now in the last nine months which record is more impressive. What he's done domestically, look at the stock market, look at unemployment, look at new jobs, or whether it's what he's already achieved in this scant few months in terms of, of international relations, whether it's defeating ISIS, reinvigorating NATO, reassuring our Asian allies. It feels as if we're in a second term, doesn't it? Uh, it feels to me like we have a Trump presidency. Uh, <laughs> and it's the one that uh, you know, millions of us uh, in envisioned uh, when he was running for the office. He now holds, thank you, God. Uh, Trump and Putin, do you think they'll meet? Um, I, I, I hope so. Uh, because there needs to be a face-to-face -face meeting to make sure that that man, Putin, also understands 
uh, what the president is doing and this, that this isn't President Obama. Uh, this is a very different president. He's a serious man. He's a pragmatist and a patriot. And uh, Putin needs to mm -hmm. understand, just as everybody else, North Korea included, China included, you don't mess with the United States under the command of President Donald J. Trump. And, as you say, a pragmatist, but at the same time, uh, the wall is slow going and people are getting restive, his supporters. Uh, we have uh, uh, Kristen Nielsen, uh, the president's choice to lead the EHS today, saying it's Americans' fault uh, and that uh, we're to blame for uh, children here, brought here illegally by their illegal uh, immigrant parents. Uh, this has created a firestorm, as you well know. Your thoughts about that? Um, I'm a little disturbed, to say the least, with regards to this individual. Uh, she has a track record before coming into government of being pro-open borders. This is not who Secretary Kelly was. It's not who the president is. And there is one thing, Lou, that is non-negotiable when it comes to this eight-year presidency, and that is the building of, of the wall. And Ms. Nielsen needs to get on message, mm -hmm. otherwise she will not be representing the president's intent. What does it say to you that a nominee for that high office and a critically important uh, part of our national security team uh, responsible for our borders would make such a remark urging amnesty uh, and saying the American people are the ones uh, who are to blame for the plight uh, of those illegal uh, immigrant children who were brought here by their illegal immigrant parents? Uh, well, clearly, if this is what she believes, she's, uh, she's fallen victim to the narrative of the left. It's, I mean, this is what Hillary Clinton was saying in private high-tag speeches she was giving to bankers about the need for having no borders in the, in the Western Hemisphere. Uh, Ms. N Ms. Nielsen needs to understand that it's not Hillary who's president. Uh, and one other question, uh, if I may. Uh, your thoughts uh, right now as to what we're going to see come of Two tax bills, is this, uh, is this a, a process that's going to lead to uh, the Trump agenda's tax uh, cuts or something quite different? Uh, I think it's uh, comparable to the Gippers saying. So what did uh, Ronald Reagan say? Uh, I'll take 70 percent of the loaf and I'll come back for the other 30 percent later. It's not going to be perfect right now, but this is a marker that has to be laid down. We have to get tax reform started. Dr. Sebastian Gorka, great to have you with us. Thanks so much. Thank you, Lou.